Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about ginkgo or ginkgo biloba. Uh, this here is probably the most primitive prehistoric plant I can think of. It's been around since like the early Mesozoic era or something like that. Like it's incredibly old. Uh, it's in the uh, order ginkgo whales and it's in the family ginkgo aceae. So I don't know if that tells you how unique it is that everything about it is literally named ginkgo. It's known as the Chinese maiden hair tree, it's also known as the common ginkgo, and it's persisted through several times, many different shifts in this world, and it's incredibly resilient. So this plant here is actually by nature a gymnospermic plant, so it's not a, uh, it's not technically an angiosperm, and it's quite related to conifers. So if you want to think of it more as a cone producing plant, that produces fruits that's really funky because it's also deciduous but it's also broadleafed it's it's just really weird so this here is a medicinal plant um, for several years you could use the leaves for different uses many societies throughout history have rooted into teas to solve a whole host of different biological problems such as uh, gastrointestinal issues even mental disorders like this plant has so many benefits uh, it has this really neat monocot type venation, it's parallel venation, but it, uh, it's extruded in a palmate fashion. It has this really unique leaf shape. Um, it, it, has these, it has a tendency of growing long and slender and thin like a whip, and it takes several years for it to just finally start producing these lateral um, scaffold branches, and it takes a long time for it to be able to create a nice structure to it. This plant here likes sandy soils, it likes it quite dry. If you've ever been to Vantage, Washington and the Columbia River Gorge, they have a place there called the Ginkgo Petrified Forest, and it has a whole bunch of fossils of this plant. Like, when I think of this plant, I think of like cycads or the sagos and dinosaurs and stuff like that, because it's just such a long-lived plant that has really quite persisted through many times. It's a prehistoric plant and it's a reminder of our past and it's a reminder that we really have to preserve species so that future generations can enjoy them, such as the ginkgo. Um, the females of this plant, they're not self-fertile, but the females have a yellowish fruit that has a ridiculously bad smell. It smells almost like vomit and for that reason I don't recommend planting too many female ginkgos, uh, especially in like a um, an urban setting where a lot of people are going to be around to smell this tree. Uh, another thing that I really want to mention about ginkgos is once they establish they require quite a bit of space. I don't know if you've seen like the giant Japanese ginkgos though but it's so rewarding to have a huge ginkgo because in the fall they have this wonderful sort of lime yellowy colored leaves that become like in to October and November later on to the, into the season they start to progress into this just beautiful, fantastic sunset of just different shades of gold and yellow. So that's another wonderful reason to plant ginkgo. It has a cold tolerance of about negative 30 degrees Celsius and a heat tolerance of almost 40 degrees Celsius. So this plant here, can, it's tough as nails. You never have to fertilize it. It has barely any soil requirements. It has such a small root system, but it's still somehow so sturdy. So I highly recommend that you guys try ginkgo biloba. It's the only surviving species in its genus. Um, all the rest of them are unfortunately extinct. But that's just to go to show how this has stood the tests of time. So this here is ginkgo biloba. Highly recommend it. Super therapeutic plant. I'll have to make. I'll have to do some research on it and make new videos to just go on and on about the benefits of this plant because it's it's really quite amazing. Oh uh, yeah. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll probably make a part two of this because I love this tree so much and. Stay safe.